Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And today, today we are going to be talking about Cascadour. Now, Cascadour is one of those AI tools that uses AI right, in my humble opinion. It uses machine learning algorithms to make the world of animation easier. So it is not here to replace the artist, it is here to assist the artist, and it does a wonderful job. Now, the reason why we're talking about it specifically is because Cascadour 2024.2 release was, so the second major release of this year. And what we're going to do is jump right in, check out Cascadour, and see what is to offer for in this new version. By the way, this video is being brought to you by Camtasia in more ways than one because this video is actually being made using Camtasia. More on that later in the video. So here you can see Cascadour 2024.2 in action. One of the major new features of Cascadour 2024.2 is the ability to have multiple characters in a scene. I'm gonna show you a much cooler scene of it in action. First, a bit of an overview of Cascadour itself. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up one of their demos. We're gonna bring in Caskey, their character here, a cat-like character, and I'm going to immediately show you what Cascadour is all about. So you've got various different animation modes, so you can do things with, you know, traditional bones, you can set up a variety of different things, you've got physics assisted, you've got a number of different bones modes, you've got rigging tools in here, you've even got some really cool tools in here to take in like mocap animation, and instead of having like a hundred kajillion different keyframes, you can simplify it down so you can actually make it edible animation again. But what you're going to probably do is mostly this auto-posing stuff. And this is really cool. It's your traditional bone-based approach, but this is where your machine learning kicks in. So let's say I wanted to grab this character's hand. It's going to guess the ambient movement to go along with it. So as I move this hand around, you're going to see everything else responds accordingly. So I'm going to bring this down towards the ground plane, for example. So watch here, get to the ground, and then watch the hand as we hit the ground, and it splays out. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll grab this hand here, same deal, and as I move it around, it changes the animation and it does the secondary animations etc using machine learning about what it thinks you're going to do now you can turn all this off and you can just use this as traditional animation if you wish but it's this auto posing this ai assisted animation stuff that is just super amazingly powerful so uh that is kind of a nutshell of what cascadeur is all about it just makes creating your animation super, super clean and simple. Autopose is an absolute amazing feature in there, especially for someone like myself who is not particularly great at animating. By the way, you do have the ability to come up here and you can set it up to, to show hands so you can have full hand details. So if you need more detail, you can bring it in. Again, on top of that, you do have tools in there for um, automatically creating your rig uh, and uh, physics interactions and uh, trajectories and so on. So now let's look at some of the new features um, of the 2024.2 release. And the best way to do that would probably be from looking at their demo video. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this. So we're not gonna go through too much of these. One of the new things they added was physics-based swinging animation. So you can now hang from stuff. It also gives you an idea of what the physics animation is like in Cascadour. Uh, but now you have the ability to actually hang below surfaces, uh, which is quite cool on top of that you have um, the ability to have multiple characters in the same scene and have them interact with each other. So they've got a shared center of balance between them. So this is the kind of animation you'll be able to create with multiple uh, characters in your scene now. So this is gonna open up a whole new world of options. Before I used to have to do each person in their own separate file, it makes things a bit of a nightmare. So if you're animating things working together uh, and you can have the physics solvers there. Another big thing that they've done is they've added blend shape supports. Now this is very early on, there's currently no ability to actually author the blend shapes inside a Cascadour. You'd have to do that in like Max Maya or Blender before bringing it in. But that functionality is now available for you. It gives you an idea of the top level features in this particular release. Uh, there's just, you know, a, a decent number of improvements. We head on over to their release notes now. And I gotta admit, they gotta up their release notes game because this is a, it's pretty Spartan. Uh, so what we've got here in the 2024 update, we have physics updates. So you can now have swinging motions such as hanging from a climbing hold are now supported. Physics corrector, uh, now characters are able to interact with each other. This is considered an alpha right now, but you saw that in action where you had one character kicking the other or one holding another one up. They've got um, other video of showing uh, people dancing and so on. So you can have two characters interacting with each other within the simulation. Uh, separation of motion feature is now supported. Physics settings are now saved to the scene file. Previously, they were reset upon reopening the scene. Uh, first, last velocity weight settings have been added. Auto posing update. So auto posing is what we saw in action where you basically just grab that character and it uses the machine learning to do the secondary animations for you. Uh, it's improved behavior for top level controllers and auto posing can now work with several characters at once. So again, that's part of this uh, 
this part here announcement all kind of working together uh, animation unbaking this was actually added in uh, 2024.1 but this gives you the ability to basically take motion cap animation and turn it back into like key frameable animation very useful if you're using mocap stuff but you actually want to edit it it makes it like a human accomplishable task uh, so you've got also now support for characters without auto posing rigs and animation is unbaked only on the selected animation tracks we do have a uh, tentative support for blend shapes so it supports blend shapes uh, but they don't get they're not authored inside of it yet that is something that is coming in the future um, so they improved the scene linking tools so optimized interpolation uh, performance now uh, interpolation is only calculated for the visible parts of the timeline resulting in improved performance a tool for viewing fulcrum points uh, without turning on auto physics fulcrum points are basically where your um, your rig interacts with something else such as like the ground plane or another character's face um, so that's what a fulcrum point is and then a number of other um, smaller improvements across the board uh, so rigging tools now support colliders you can have things in your world like a wall or a box or uh, again we saw it earlier on with the like this thing that you're handing all uh, hanging off of this bar here uh, so that is kind of the top level of cascadour if you're interested in checking it out it is available at cascadour.com uh, there is a free trial available so you're looking at zero dollars on the free version uh, indie is uh, 99 dollars a year pro is 399 a year um, and I do you think they've got some form of perpetual pricing in fact so if you stop uh, you can keep using it yeah here's the description so only subscription Oscar options available does Cascadour offer a perpetual license too so as long as you opt for the annual payment every pro indie team's license of Cascadour is automatically converted into a perpetual license after the minimum of one year this means even if you cancel your subscription after the first year you could continue to use that version obviously you're not going to get updates anymore but this is the exact same thing that you used to get with traditional um traditional one-time payment licenses so that's actually a really cool aspect of what they've done there uh it is available uh for a couple of different operating systems now interestingly enough Windows and Linux are available here Mac it, it no logo and I'm not 100% certain that this is going to work it didn't in the past oh yeah it is working now okay so the Mac download is there as well so uh it does appear that Mac is there even though there's no logo so you've got uh Windows Linux and Mac support and once again there is that free trial available so if you're looking for an animation tool again that uses AI but uses AI in a way that again is there to assist the artist not replace them this is a tool that I highly recommend checking out is again I think this is the model for how we should hopefully have um AI assisted tools in the future I'm super impressed with what this guy is capable of and I do recommend checking out that free version if you are interested so as we said to start this video it is brought to you by and created in Camtasia now this is the software I've used since the very beginning of this channel and I have never regretted it now this is a super simple video you are seeing being created but you're also going to see just how easy it is to create a video like this it starts off with your capture you decide you want to capture your screen your audio your camera and so on and then you come into the video editor we're doing simple things right now like bringing in uh, other media content setting up a visual transition uh, the audio is automatically taken care of for you so it does a compression and normalization on the audio you can of course override that there are more advanced options there if you need to do noise reduction etc and then you basically do things like here you can see I'm doing a, a zoom into a certain part of the video uh, and yeah that's it if you've ever used any nonlinear editor you're gonna see just how easy it is to work with Camtasia then you export you can export straight out to YouTube or set it up like this a variety of different resolutions and qualities Let's hit the export button and you are good to go if you're interested check out Camtasia with the links down below use the code game from scratch to get 15% off at checkout thank you for uh, sponsoring this video Camtasia and you guys let me know what you think of Cascadour so that is Cascadour 2024.2 in my opinion this is how AI tools should work but I'm curious to hear what you think let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you all later goodbye